All right. Hello again, everybody. I hope you're all doing wonderful. Um, so you just, uh, what you just saw from me from Little Ranger was an amazing speed run that I highly recommend that you check out. Um, now what you're going to be seeing here right now is a game that is not good. And I'm okay with saying that because this isn't like an indie dev. This is just like a company that made this game, but couldn't have cared less about it. Um, casually speaking, never play this game in the in terms of speedrunning just skip straight to the speedrun you're not missing out i promise um and now we're just gonna go straight into goosebumps instead of night um this game does star jack black in like three different voices um so that's one thing we get, get to look forward to uh we're gonna start with new game normal and that's what the double video we're gonna select and hopefully this game is nice to us today because there are certain things that are like uh, a bit finicky that um, hopefully don't happen. Um, so yeah, that's going to be uh, it for introductions to this game. Um, Goosebumps Set of Night will begin in 3, 2, 1, go. The typewriter and yes, the typewriter and you are one, Jack Black. Thank you for letting me know. So the first thing we're going to be doing is you're going to see that I'm actually going to be uh, strafing instead of going um, straight forward because when you go up left or up right in this game you will gain more speed than just going straight forward um, and so the movement in this game is already going to be a little bit weird uh, because of that um, and we're already going to come up to our first skip of the run that's how broken this is um, you are just going to lodge yourself into this corner right here and go back far back and then you're just barely out of sight of this school's vision um, this is called ghoul skip in which you're going to wait for the school to just go past this these boxes and stuff and then wait for those boxes to disappear and as soon as the the load loading um uh animation appears in the bottom left you're going to be um come on come on there we go there you go, perfect. You want to kind of lodge yourself into that in order to collect one of the pages. Um, and we're going to go straight across here. And in the kitchen, we're going to find two more pages. One right here. Oh, come on. There we go. Thank you. And one right here. Perfect. And after you collect this page, um, you're going to get attacked by a group of garden gnomes, because what else would happen? Um, we only care about one of these guys, and that is the one that grabs the key, which is that guy over there in the bottom. Oh, he went that way. Where did he go? This guy, come on, this guy, this guy. Here, there, thank you, perfect. Um, Slappy, hopefully Slappy doesn't attack us wherever Slappy is. Oh, 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 Slappy, thank you, perfect. Um, we're going to go across here, and we're going to go into the bathroom in order to collect one more key. And then we're going to go over here, and we're going to be doing a glitch known as hitbox displacement, in which we go under this um, piano, and then for some reason that just really uh, displaces your hitbox. And you were able to, like clip through a lot of uh a lot of doors and essentially interact with stuff through doors as well click two more pages and then load the last checkpoint and we're gonna mess up with the physics right here by getting straight up against this wall and you want to be able to look through this door before you interact with it so you can open it from the other side and then skip a huge cutscene. and now we're gonna go across here oh thank you and we want to actually be really careful with the ghoul up here because sometimes she... It, we're going to wait for her to go into that room. Oh, oh, please, please don't, please don't. Oh, come on. This is another thing that I was, like, really hoping wouldn't happen. I'm going to reset checkpoint just so she can, like, behave, please. Um, because I really don't want her to... To uh, attack me. I'm just going to crawl and wait for her to go over there into that room perfect and wait for the door to close and now we're going to go across here enter slappy's room excuse me oh do i have to redo that section again Are you kidding me oh you have to grab the key over here from slappy's room again unfortunately it means you have to go across here and then collect the collect the uh take uh collect the mouse or collect the uh underneath here that is actually uh oh wow okay we're actually messing up more than we would want to today that is unfortunate there you go open it from the other side and grab this key you do not want to open the any door from the other side you just want to open this door and go across here and wait for this ghoul to enter this room 
Oh, come on. Please stop. There we go. She's in the room. Go across here. A significant time loss, admit admittedly, in like the first level. But you know, we move in stride and we keep those. We keep it rolling. Okay, perfect. Hopefully the slappy fight will treat us a bit better so that we um, aren't losing too much time there either. After grabbing that last page, we're going to be resetting checkpoint and we're going to go straight into the final fight of this area of the house, which is the slappy fight. Um, usually these gnome like steal pages from you. It does not matter. As long as you have 10 pages at some point, this final area will be unlocked. Um, and now we're going to go into the final fight of the house, which is a sloppy fight. And this fight is like annoying because it's like kind of like pseudo RNG. Um, because Happy or Slappy will like appear out of nowhere in random locations just based on your camera positioning. Oh, oh, yeah. That's unfortunate, but we're gonna try and see what we can do with this. Um, if you look at Slappy, um, that'll be enough for him to like not attack you. Um, but. That's just hard to do optimally um, because you want to attack him three times total. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Perfect. And we're actually, I really want to take this like a little bit uh, safer because if you die, if, if happy touches, if slappy touches you at least once, you like will just die. Um, and that is like annoying to deal with. Okay, where are you, Fap Slappy? I really just want to look at you so you go away from me. Thank you. Okay, Slappy, where are you? There you go. There you go. I need one more yellow gnome. So the the reason that you kind of want yellow gnomes instead of red gnomes is because the red gnomes, if you hold them for too long, they will kill you by attacking you. Um, but the yellow gnomes who are free of or like you don't like the yellow gnomes will not attack you whatsoever. Please, thank you. Now we're gonna wait for ha Slappy to come by, so we can attack him a third time. Perfect. So yeah, that's a Slappy fight. And now we just have to exit and make sure that the gnomes don't attack us because they can still kill you, and you would have to do the fight all over again. All right. Or honestly, a little bit of a long um, house, like longer than I would have liked it to have gone. But we'll see how the rest of the run goes. You think this book can hold me? I will no longer be a footnote in your story. I'll be taking this. All right. Now we're going to go straight to the greenhouse. The greenhouse is actually really broken. We've already discovered a lot of glitches here, but we're actually going to be discovering even more glitches in the greenhouse um, because of how broken it is. So we're going to um, be uh, poisoned by Slappy right here because we're going to turn into this green plant monster kind of thing with the poison that he feeds us. Um, but... Uh, that's either here nor there. It doesn't really mean much in the terms of the speed run, especially because of how much we're going to be skipping. We're going to pick up this radio, and I'm going to be introducing you to something called Infinite Sprint Glitch. Um, and essentially, you're in this, there's, whenever you run, there's like in a period of exhaustion that you have before you regain your health again. Um, if you were to, if a voice, if like an audio file or like a voice line ends during that, um, period of fatigue, for whatever reason, the game, um, will give you just infinite sprint ability. I do not know why those two things are connected. Do not ask me, um, uh, because it just means that those two things are going to be, um, connected and you can just keep running. You can see the game things that I'm fatigued right now, but I'm still running. Um, I'm going to just be very careful here only because of how much, uh, oh, please. Thank you. Be very careful here only because of how much that could be detrimental. Um, we still have infinite sprint glitch. Literally all you have to do is keep pulling down shift. That's it. That's all you need to do. 
And then after that section, we've lost infinite sprint glitch. And after we eat this bowl of porridge, we're going to reset checkpoint. And we're going to uh, do a really, really broken glitch with this box. Perfect. And we're going to fly with it. When you crouch and uncrouch, we're going to fly. Oh, please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes the game doesn't like to cooperate, but you can just crouch in order to have it go back down, creating too much height. Um, but none of this area has collision because why would it? As soon as you get up here, you can just fall down, let go of the box, and collect this guy right here. That's all you need. Um, essentially, the story of the greenhouse is that you are making this potion in order to cure yourself, and you have to have four different um, ingredients. But the thing is, the game never checks to see if you actually have all four ingredients, and so it just checks to see if you have the last one. Um, and so if you skip the entire section, um, you can just get all the potion ingredients um, because the game is just like, oh, you're here and you have the last one, therefore you must have all of them. Um, and now we're, we're going to be reading this recipe, but this is actually the wrong recipe. Um, instead, we're going to be um, using uh, some sound cues in order to guess where should we where we really need to be, how much we need to be pouring into of each part of the potion. And this like is really like um, difficult to to like pour with. Like it's not like I'm just moving my mouse. It's like gyroscope, but for mice, and it's really really strange. It's like one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. And there, we've made the potion. We're gonna drink it ourselves. And then we're cured. As you can see, we have all this progress of like turning into this monster, but we didn't see any of that progress because we skipped the majority of the level. Um, and after this, um, after this, we're going to be grabbing this potion. And we're going to be uh, throwing in a Dr. Brewer right here. And you want to really make sure that you do not miss. Because if you miss that, um, you have to like redo the whole potion making thing again. And it's going to be like the most annoying thing in the world. A hefty time loss. But that is the greenhouse. And now we're going to go straight into the Tesla Tower. This is the final area. The third and final area of the game. Uh, it looks like... It looks like um, Happy, or slap I keep saying Happy, Slappy wants to take over the world with the Tesla Tower in order to get all this energy, um, because of course he does. Um, but we are going to stop him with the help of Nikola Tesla. Actually, no, we stop him all by ourselves. Just said Nikola Tesla takes some of the credit for it. Um, now we're going to be going into the Tesla Tower. Nikola Tesla. Um, and now we're going to be going through another cutscene. And at the other side of this cutscene is like one of the harder tricks in the game. Hopefully it takes me pretty... I got it pretty quickly in a, in a, in a run earlier today. So hopefully I can get it pretty quickly again. But we're just waiting for this cutscene to end. So we can get back with the, the, um, with the uh, run. And we're also going to be using this to skip a lot. Like even if you mess this skip up... Um, for like minutes at a time, it's still faster than uh, doing um, than doing what is essentially the intended solution of of this area. You're supposed to go into like three different rooms to solve and open up this case. We need to get that laser gun, and this there, the gun is actually like in there. Like we can actually see it. Um, uh, we need to get on top of this, and then we're gonna open this, and then we're gonna. Open the case, and then we're going to grab the gray gun outside of it. My goodness, that was so fast. Oh, my God. That was so quick. My God. Um, and now we're going to um, enter the uh, elevator by messing up with the physics like that again. Um, and now we're, like, in the second to last area of the game. In this catwalk. And the catwalk specifically... Um, is very finicky, but we're also going to see probably what I would say is the like um, easiest way to learn how infinite sprint glitch works. Um, so we're going to make sure that our um, stamina runs out at a very specific moment. Make him pay. At the very end of that voice line is when we want uh, the infinite when I want our stamina to run out uh, because um, the voice line will end during the fatigue state, and then boom, we can have infinite sprint glitch. Like that is probably the easiest and most 
um, clear visual demonstration of infinite sprint glitch. And because we have infinite sprint glitch, we're able to do this skip. Perfect. Okay. I was very afraid that that wasn't going to work out because sometimes it just doesn't. Um, but we were able to skip that section. Um, and we want to keep to the side so that we can avoid these witches. And now we're going to go to the end right here. And then boom. We're now here towards the final boss. We can shoot with this guy. All right. And after this elevator, we have one final showdown with Slappy and his minions. Some funky music. I see you brought the book. How thoughtful. It's the last piece I need. So, we are now going to be fighting three enemies. One, all of which were from the house, but two of which we skipped entirely. The clown and the wolf. But the ghoul we did see. Um, but we technically skipped her too. Um, but we are going to be using our ray gun in order to um, blast these guys out of the sky. They won't hurt you, only the witches will hurt you. And of course the enemy that's chasing you, but they're very slow, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and just make sure you don't run out of like energy in your gun, because otherwise it's going to be... Uh, otherwise, like um, it'll be, it's like annoying. Um, this boss fight is pretty easy, so long as you get rid of all the witches and stuff, especially the ones that fly around. And... Come on. Refill here. There we go. Perfect. And right away. Uh, there we go. Perfect. And all we have to do is get rid of one more enemy by shooting his uh, orb three times. Perfect. Now we're just going to wait for the orb to fly here again. Perfect. And one more time. And now we just have to kill Slappy. And timing will end in 3, 2, 1, time. Oh, three seconds over estimate. Wow, okay. Dang. I I had a feeling that the like um the major mistake in in uh the first house might have gone this overestimate. But three seconds overestimate is actually still not that bad considering what happened in the house. But like that's like I I'm okay with that run. Like, um I mean aside from the big mess up at the beginning. Um, that is like perfectly fine. Um, like I am, all things considered, that was a pretty decent run. Um, but yeah, that was my two runs for Obscurathon. Um, these are pretty obscure games. Um, one of which I highly recommend picking out. The other with which I think the community behind it is really great. And if you want to check this out as a speed run, I would also recommend it because it is kind of fun. Although I would just say skip to the casual experience because I, um, I would skip to the speed running experience because casually it doesn't have much going for it. Um, aside from that, um, I've been Osborne. I have, if you want to speed on these games, you can reach out to me on Discord, on Twitter.com, on Twitter. Um, I highly recommend uh, these communities and these games as speedruns. Um, but aside from that, that is all for me. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you so much for having me.